ALS is a disease where the motor system breaks down. Now the motor system is the way the brain has of making our muscles move, and in particular in the spinal cord, uh, the motor neurons that drive the muscle contraction. Depending on the patient, it may start in the muscles of the face, it may start in the legs or the arms, and it gradually spreads. My uncle passed away from ALS in 2015. He was the first person in my family to, to be diagnosed with ALS. But I uh, saw something about my other cousin, Seth, uh, something about Seth being sick with ALS. And immediately I picked up my phone and I called my cousin, John. I said, John, is this true? Does Seth have ALS? John responded and he told me that yes, it was true. And that not only Seth had been diagnosed with ALS, but that John had also been diagnosed with ALS. Uh, at that moment, I instantly understood that there was a genetic defect in my family. Late last year, I received the results that I, I also carried the C9 or 72 expansion mutation. Within my own family, you can see the, the variability of the onset of the disease. It's devastating to find out that uh, everyone in your family is in the same boat. You know, we suffer the trauma of, of facing ALS over and over. One of the great difficulties of this situation is learning how to um, cope with the ever-present fear that the symptoms are beginning to onset. Some of the cases are SOD1, C9 off 72. These are well-known ALS genes, and these provide a really good way for us to have a new tack on trying to provide therapeutics for ALS patients. If we can identify subsets of those patients with certain genes or certain levels of gene, that can really help us in designing clinical trials so we can see a benefit that's targeted at that subset of patients. What we've been doing is to focus on modalities that can go straight into the CNS and have their effect. And the first of these are called ASOs. These are small bits of DNA that are injected and migrate throughout the CNS and we hope slow down the progression of the disease. Now that genetic causes of ALS are being identified, it gives a jump on the research to curing sporadic ALS as well. Biogen's, you know, leading role is one of the things that gives me the most hope. It was really impossible to imagine the incredible acceleration we've seen over the last years. So if you say, how am I going to take on ALS? I think for too many years, we said, we're going to do it in one fell swoop, and that failed. So what we're doing is to try and chip away at the block at levels where we can bit by bit solve the problem.